Hello. Well, uh, anybody who's been following me will know during the first lockdown I did a load of lockdown videos where I'm just featuring all, all the puppets that I've got. But since then I've actually bought some new puppets so I thought I'll just tell you a little bit about these. The first one up is uh, Perry the Pelican. We've got a nice big beaked hole stuffing. Uh, well, most uh, I'll be puppets, I'll do something to them and try to change them a little bit. I quite like him as he is, so all I've put on, on him is a hat, which fits him nicely. It was a pound off of uh, it, in one of the shops just before Halloween. So it just, yeah, it, I, think, I think it suits him, makes him look, look a little bit bigger and bolder. Apart from that, I put magnets in his feet as well, so he can stay in place a bit better without moving around. That's all I've done to him. He's pretty, pretty nice, uh, nice puppet, and he's a a living puppet's puppet. And they've from th those what I've had in the past. That was Ethan, and Bruce the bat. Then is uh, they, they seem to be good, nice looking puppets and reasonably good quality. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with him. So this is Perry and. I've got a full routine for him, but I'll just give you a little idea of his voice and what I'm doing with him. So, routine doing starts off with that famous, uh, famous what, rhyme about pelicans. You probably know it. Uh, hello! No, my name is Terry the Pelican, and what a wonderful bird is a pelican! Yo, thank you very much! Its beak can hold more than its belly can! Well, not quite, no. You can hold in his beak enough food for a week. No, I can't. And I don't know how the hell he can. Oh, what a wonderful creature is Nan. His eyes can eat more than he can. He eats all the food so not to hurt you rude. And now he's on a diet plan. Ha! Oh, thank you very much. Hello and welcome to another one of my new videos for my new puppets. If you've seen the other one, I did one not so long ago with Perry the Pelican. And now this is his friend, Fanny the Flamingo. Uh, I couldn't find an ending for Perry's routine, because he sort of like wants to meet a new, a new bird. So I thought, I'll actually get a bird. So she's not really a puppet as such, although she is. She's more just a prop, just to finish off his show. So, I didn't spend much on her, she was just £12. Uh, I had to make her wings a little bit bigger, because they were, I didn't, for, for me, they didn't, didn't look right. So I had to spend a little bit extra on the uh, on the wings, not just to get some uh, fur for, for her wings. Uh, originally, the hand would have gone up through the bottom, up through the arm, and into the head that way, she had a squeaker in the head. So I've just done away with all that, could hold in her back, put my hand, so she's got a lot more movement and I've put a big plastic ball in there to weight that down a little bit and just to fill the body out and a bit of vacuum hose in and out so it's flexible and it's reasonably stiff that's pretty much the only alterations I've done to her but not cost a lot if I ain't got it I didn't use it apart from the fur which I've obviously had to buy and that's funny I mean she hasn't got many lines but what I will try to do you say a few lines for her, just so you know what, she, what she's like and what kind of voice she's going to have. I think you'll find this voice is very, very similar to uh, to Susie the dog's voice. Because it's not easy for me, and it is for a lot of men, to try to, to do a woman's voice. So we'll see. Oh, hello. My name is uh, Sunny. Sunny, the funny girl. Pleased to meet you. And I don't know if you have noticed that I am pink. And aren't I beautiful? Yes, you you are beautiful. Oh, do you fancy me? No, I don't fancy you. So you don't fancy me? You don't think I'm beautiful? You are for bird, yes. So you don't fancy me? I don't fancy you, no. Oh, so I'm not beautiful. You're a good-looking bird. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Hello and welcome to another new video featuring another one of my new puppets. Uh, this one is an old man. It's the only man 
the only human puppet I've actually got. And this is Michael. I got him as a complete puppet from uh, Creative Puppets. And uh, I just clothed him. So I'll give got my, found a nice hat to fit him. Scarf of an old teddy I had. If you watch watching other videos, I know which one it was. Not teddy, but like a teddy type uh, puppet. And just like, just clothes I bought, shoes I bought. And that's pretty much it. Not done a lot with him, apart from just clothed him. And make his stick. I thought he looked good with his stick. And what I found out, when you put a stick on a puppet, it just falls down. So, if some puppets you'll see, they've actually got arm rods, so you can move the arm about. Well, I decided to do this with his stick. There's a hole in the end, end of his stick. So I shoved an old screwdriver up it. And now he's got, it acts as an arm rod and a stick. And it doesn't fall over. Uh, I'll give you an idea of what his voice is. I'll just do a quick few words. Oh, hello! My name is Nikel! Hello, Mike. No, it's not Nike, it's Nikel. Well, can we call you Mick? No, you can't call him Nick. I was christened Nikel. So we can't take the Mickey then? No, you can't, it's Nikel, I tell you. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to my fourth video showing my new videos, my new puppets. And today we have got the all new st 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 stuttering Stan. If you saw my lockdown videos earlier on last last year during lockdown, that would probably have been about April May time. Then maybe later, much I can't remember when I did them, sometime like that. Uh, you'd see the original Stan, and it, it got like a, a cap on, flat cap, uh, yeah, cap sort of thing, baseball cap. That's it, uh, and. Uh, he looked, I thought he looked great, but he was small, about that big. Sort of like round and really short arms. He just looked like a round ball and he just got no... To his whole, overall look, well, I was concerned, he got no features. So I thought I really need something a bit bigger and a bit different. So I found him for 10 quid. And he came with... See if I can make this here. He got an eye. What was that big, if you can see? Put it inside a penny, so you can just see the difference in size. Now, a bit much different size than new eyes are, that's the penny. They're nearly the same size. Just give you an idea of how small these original eyes were. So they had to come out, that's the first thing I did. Well, first thing we did, I had to rip all these insides out, all this stuffing, to get to, get to his eyes. But luckily enough, he didn't have any much stuffing in, only in his head. His body didn't have any in it, it was just like his head what was lined. So I took all his head lining out, he had a squeak in his mouth, so I took that out, took his original eyes out, and I'd got some spare ones luckily, so I put those in. And just a few days ago I was told that they really still didn't show up enough, so I put some white around the back of them. And I think they really, really pop now. And also giving him some eyebrows, that's a, an upgrade I've given him. The nose ring, I sort of like, it just cases it. That's what I give the original stamp, so I'll put one in. He has got an earring as well, but you can barely see that. Uh, until I said we're done to him, I've made a hole in, 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 in his back, because originally it was one of those where you just go all the way up from the bottom to try to get to his head. And then, like I said before, you just end up with a stiff puppet like that, because your arm's going up, up like that. So that's Stan. I've clothed him, put some magnets in his feet if I want to hang him from anywhere, and in his paws. Give me a nice, a nice charm. Charming, isn't it? I just get some camping mat, uh, no, yeah, camping mat, and put, roll it up and make a body out of it. Because, like I said, there's no stuffing in it, so just a, a floppy body before. I put, put, made him a body, so it stands up a little bit better and looks a bit more puppety rather than just a bit of a rag. And I've got some that, that thicker garden, green gardening mat. Cut that up to make some foam for his head to fill his head out and that's pretty much it I think it looks not look bad now we actually spent nothing on him we've got apart from that I've got, every, I've got everything on me anyway around the house so yeah it cost 10 quid plus postage and that so he's a pretty cheap puppy now I think I think now he's got a look about him so what does he do well he's, he's stuttering and it, uh, I don't want to make a joke out of people who stutter so 
the whole idea of his routine will be for me to uh, try to teach him not to stutter. Simplified with him and try to teach him not to stutter now. Well, how true it is, I don't know, because I don't stutter that much. I get my words mixed up at times, you know, but I don't really stutter, so... Uh, yeah, um, I tell you, without doing it, you don't know what it's like. But I have heard that if you, if you, you know, people who stutter, if they sing, they tend to not stutter when they sing. So the whole idea of the routine I'm doing with them is to uh, get him to sing. So this is what I've come up with. It'll probably be a load of rubbish, but we'll, we'll see. And it's kind of a swimmer, the jungle, the IT. And he's just tucked in a hat, just tucked in, just just chilling me. Oh, and the young man could not show him to tell. And he just let the other man and tied a monkey around. You did to do. Or to be like you, or to walk like you, talk like you, or to talk like you, or to talk like you, I don't want to start to know, no, I don't want to start to know, no. I'm sure we'll get there eventually, I'm sure we'll get there. Thank you.